Hello everyone and welcome back to Aviation A to Z. We have decided to start a brand new series A to Z interview question and answer. Here we will share all the important interview questions, analyze it, decode it as per modules, ATA chapters and in part 2 of that video we'll answer it with correct references. So guys, if you have not subscribed our channel then quickly do it and get ready for complete interview and job preparation. So let's get started. Today we will see some entry level interview questions asked by Airworks, the leading MRO of India. The questions are not that tough and if you have studied properly and have little experience of field then you can easily answer them. So we will see the question asked to various candidates. So remember sometimes they will ask 10 to 15 questions to single person and sometimes lesser. It depends on three things. Number one, interviewer. Number two, on your resume CV that is your qualification and your way of answering the question. So let's begin the interview. Candidate number one. The first two questions are related to your resume and skills. That is first which year you join the course and second what are your weak points the third question was how do you calculate least count of micrometer this question is most frequently asked in interview the least count of precision instrument this question was asked from most important module from point of view of maintenance yes it's module 7 maintenance practices now we will soon make a detailed video on how to calculate least count of such precision instruments whether it's vernier caliper or micrometer of any divisions and we will give detailed answer of such questions in our upcoming videos the next question was what is the meaning of least count of vernier caliper similar question but a conceptual one again from mod 7 then explain modern lift devices a question related to aerodynamics and is also important topic for interview so basically it was from module 8 now we have already made a detailed video on types of question asked in job interview. If you have time then please check it out to get real idea of basic questions. Moving ahead, next question was how do you come to know about DGC rules and regulation? A module 10 question again. See, don't just listen to this video. Try to think of an answer and check your knowledge. And if you are getting correct answer then it's amazing. If not then go back and pick up the book and start revising properly. Next question was on which website you can see the latest amendment. This one is tricky question but you can answer it easily if you know how to download and refer civil aviation requirement that is module 10 pdfs. We have already made a detailed video on DGC new and updated site. Check it out link is in description of this video. Next question when was the last time you have gone through DGC amendments again a tricky one because many students after clearing module 10 forget that this module contains amendments and you must stay updated. So there have a series of questions related to module 10 and about your preparation on it. So it's my humble request before going for any interview just make sure you check latest module 10 amendments. Next question was again related to your college studies. Did you concentrated in college and also had more inputs on aviation? And if you watch our videos regularly, then you can definitely say yes and answer that question. Also, you can visit our website a 2 zblogin for latest news, jobs and informative aviation blogs, which will definitely help you in overall aviation topic management and many new things. See, I told you already, the next question was related to it. Are you regularly in touch of website related to aviation? And you can definitely name a 2 zblogin Also, I will suggest you more such helpful website which I also follow in part 2 of this video. Next question was explain term horizontal stabilizer from module 11 airframe part. Then what is pitching up and down? Module 8 or module 11 common topic. Next question was do you know any kind of heat treatment from module 6? See how interviewer is shuffling the questions to check the overall knowledge of the candidate and final question was what do you mean by tempering mod 6 again if you had answer any link in previous question then the question will be on any link so they will check your deep knowledge on that topic 
So think before you speak and only answer in limited words because they can twist and frame next question based on your previous answer. Now they have asked almost 14 to 15 questions to first candidate. Let us see question asked to clear why you want to join Airworks. I was wondering where is this question because such questions are asked by HR to know your knowledge about the organization you wanted to join. And that's why in every video we make on vacancy we provide brief summary of that organization or airline so that you have some idea about their foundation and goals. So make sure you study that organization background before actually reading for interview. Now let us see the second question. Have you done in your college task oriented system such as replacement of component, root cause of problem, safety features? See again this is related to your skills and resume. So think and answer properly. Next question is with respect to previous one. Where will you find all the information about task mentioned above? General knowledge question and if you guessed it aircraft manuals then you are correct. Alright, we have already made a detailed video on different types of aircraft maintenance documents and manuals. So please check that out for clear understanding. Next question was explain talk. Again from mod 7. Then how you will do rebating. Again mod 7. See mod 7 is very important module. So study it first job after bottle checking. They are asking questions related to safety precaution. Once again from mod 7. Then types of rebates mod 6 or 7. And what is ESDS again from module 7 then define least count and how do you measure it again from mod 7 then how will you reduce negative error once again mod 7 you will see such questions frequently if you keep answering them and they will continuously ask such question from similar module by seeing all this question you can guess that it is an interview for fresher or trainee technician Moving ahead to candidate number 3. First two questions similar to previous ones. Website to check latest CR amendments and last amendments you come across. Third question is little bit tricky. Question is like, have you recorded the date of accident which had taken place recently? It's an important question to know the awareness of candidate about our aviation field. The fourth question is based on your qualities. Tell me about your weak subject and how you will overcome it. Then technical questions. What is Remy from module 7? What precaution to be taken while you are inserting Reamer in hole? Again from mod 7. Next question was if Reamer got stuck then what will you do? Here interviewer is checking your presence of mind and experience based on your logbook entries. The 8th question was definition of least count. I told you this is most frequently asked question. Then again same question. Explain modern lift devices. So if you are late in row, then try to get question bank from candidates who have given the interview and this will boost your confidence and you can start revising about that topic and module again. And finally my favorite question, what is Bernoulli's principle and boundary layer? A question from module 8. Yes, you can say that this interview is for category A and B1 holders because there is not much question asked related to avionic system. But it's also possible that candidate was from that category and job is open for both category students. So guys, to ease your task, I have decided to make a post on it and you can get all the interview questions at our website a to zblog.in and you can type airworks interview question. Link is also provided in description of this video. So I hope you found this video helpful and eagerly waiting to get correct answer for all such questions. So share this video with your colleagues and aware them about such helpful and informative interview question. That was all for today. See you soon. Till then keep watching, keep learning, stay safe, take care.